Hi, welcome to this video. Playing some Blitz on chess.com. Alright, Sicilian, let's go with an immediate d4. And now we'll play knight f3. Just to mix it up a little bit. Here, e5 is actually a move for black. The pawn can't be taken because of queen a5 check. Um, e5, I feel like, uh, gives him a kind of compromised pawn structure. So, I'm not too worried about that move. So it seems to be forcing my opponent to, well, not forcing them, but getting them to think a little bit. Um, I could play e5 myself here, which could be interesting, and ask them how they're going to try and develop. Um, but I'm not sure if I like that that much. I could just take, let's just take and see what kind of um, Sicilian my opponent is in the mood for today. Okay, this is a... Kalashnikov Sicilian, I think. Yes. So I think the principled way is to play c4. I'm going to play this, though. Right. Goes back, so this is, almost turns into a Shvestikov. Which I think I am okay with. I'm going to take here. unusual. Somehow I think that that's not as good. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm going to bring my knight to e3 and then back to d5. Yeah, this doesn't seem that bad for black, but um Seems a little bit fishy. Maybe I can play h4 for bishop g5. That could be interesting. I might be able to get at the weak d6 pawn in this this way. At least I get to develop. Yeah, that's why he's covering d6. Let's do this anyway. Looks like it could be a good idea. Okay, I'll take and play queen d2 then he has d5 doesn't he he's hitting this as well play let's play queen e2 he still has d5 in this case but I feel a little bit more comfortable now d5 take at least I'm on e5 then okay so he doesn't do that so I can castle now Help to shut down the d5 threat. At least bring my king to safety. Now I can dream about going after his queen. Oh, right. <laughs> That's a good point. I forgot about that. Hmm. Well, let's flick this in. See what it does. Probably bishop back to e6. Oh, bishop there. Okay. I didn't realize you can do that. Hmm. This is a good point. Interesting. Well, let's flick this in against his queen. Doesn't seem like it will hurt that much. Hmm. Ninety five doesn't look that good. This position doesn't look that good. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's try here. I have 93 if I need it. I wonder if I should try for h6. Hmm. Quite terrible position for me. It's okay. I will just have to deal with it. I'll take here and try and sidestep the threats with King B1. Although it might be walking into more threats down the A file. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, uh, threatening here immediately, so king b1, so I'm out of this pin. And my rook can do some defensive duty. Now rook h3, and where does your bishop go? And then your bishop can go here, right? Yeah, that's true. Queen f3, for much the same... Oh, queen f3 loses the rook. Hmm. Yeah, this is tough. Rook f3, bishop here, then I can't hold on to the rook or the... And I can't hold on to everyone. Hmm. Maybe I need to move the knight away first. That's an idea. Move the knight away first. Now this rook still can't do anything. Oh, my opponent disconnected and reconnected again. Okay. Now you have rook h3 to g3, I think. Okay, I'll play here. This is getting kind of dicey, actually. Oh, now the queen is, is, is going back the other way. Okay. Hmm. Not good, not good. Queen is coming back around. Let's play here. If he takes on f5, I'll take on b3. Hope to dissipate some of the pressure. He does neither. Well, because he doesn't have to. Okay, I'll take here. Because I have to. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, this position is terrible. Okay, he's threatening mate. I'm not sure if I could stop it. I don't think I can. No, I can't. I could lose on time though. Wow. That was terrible. Thanks for watching.